Hi everyone, it's Tanya from Cuts and Millie and today I'm pretty excited because we're doing a collaboration uh, playlist with a heap of other creatives so make sure that you check out their videos also. I have been so busy this last couple of weeks. Um, I had a procedure where I had, I don't know if you can see it, some stitches in my face. Um, just had a little thing cut out of my face anyway. Um, it hurt a lot. So there was that. Uh, and then I ended up getting a new family member, my little puppy, Lolly. And she's so cute. And she's um, growing really quickly. So, um, so our Lolly dog is now part of the family. About two weeks ago, I jumped on the JRV home website, which was a bad idea. That website is full of goodies. Um, and not so bad if you're living in the States and you can just have all the clothes that you want shipped for free. But I live in Australia and shipping is a little bit exy, but couldn't help myself. So I bought two shirts from Jamie's website. Then after I'd already made my purchase and Caitlin had organized my invoice and shipping and everything, then I noticed a pair of shoes and they're faux vans and they have these palm fronds on them or I think they're palm fronds um, and they're really cool and I thought oh my gosh I really want those shoes but I can't spend any more money or I'll be in lots of trouble. So I decided to put my JRV stencil to work, the palm, the sorry, the fern frond stencil. Um, and I created my own pair of shoes. So today I'm going to show you guys how I did it and a question that I get asked all the time with my boutique furniture paint is can you paint fabric? You absolutely can and you only need to chuck it in the dryer to heat set it. So I'm going to get started and show you guys how. So these are the shoes that I started with. I bought them from Kmart. I think they were about six dollars. Uh, really inexpensive and really comfortable. I just taped them off around the sole just so that I didn't get any paint on that part of the shoe. give the shoe some stability while I stenciled them. I just put some packing paper into the toes just to give that surface that I was stenciling a little bit more structure. I only chose three colors to use from the Carts and Millie Boutique Furniture Paint which was the Mint Paddy, Lonsdale Lawn and Pine Trees. This did take some time trying to get the stencil to fit all around the curved surfaces of the shoe. But if you wanted to, you could actually cut the stencil into portions but I really just didn't want to go and wreck my stencil and cut it up into smaller parts. So I just made do with the way it was and it turned out just fine. The key to getting a really crisp stencil is to also offload your brush. So once you put your stencil brush into your paint, make sure that it has minimal paint on the end of that brush. You really don't want a wet brush, you just want a, a dry brush to stencil it on and then if you need to, go back over it again. But don't overload your brush. I'm also using the 
JRV number 12 uh, stencil brush from Paint Pixie. The JRV stencils, Paint Pixie brushes and Carts and Millie boutique furniture paint can all be purchased from our website at cartsandmillie.com. And here's the final result. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And my husband couldn't help himself but to show some of himself on camera.